Sunday of Lent as we in our parish continue to come to the Lord who will render us unbound from anything that keeps us from life. Let's listen to a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Math to Mark. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves, and he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say. They were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Suddenly looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept this matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this last week from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, a home security video captured a pet owner leaping into a frozen swimming pool to rescue her dog that was drowning below the ice. Jenny Tatum reported that her two dogs were playing in their back, her backyard when one of them, Sid, stepped onto a frozen pool and fell through the ice. Tatum, who was watching from her back porch, jumped into the water to save her dog but couldn't see him through a layer of the ice covering the pool. But after surveying the pool for several seconds, she spotted Sid below the surface and pulled it, this, her barely conscious pet out of the pool. Then she called her neighbor, who was a veterinarian, and rushed Sid to an animal hospital. The vet said that just a few seconds more in the icy water, and Sid might not have survived. Tatum said her pool pump, which had prevented the water from icing over, broke just a week before the winter storm that swept through all parts of the United States this past week. Well, since the news originated from Tennessee, it's unlikely that Sid, the dog, in fact, a small puppy was ever taught about the perils of an ice-covered pool, for it seemed that this would be very unlikely in a southern town like Murfreesboro. Instead, a rare convergence of historic, a historic cold snap and a pump malfunction led to its peril. What is clear, however, is that he stepped into a chaotic experience that must have left him flailing, confused, and disturbed. Into that chaos came his caring owner, who went right into the heart of danger, drew him back from the chaos, and led him back to life. It seems like this is such a compelling story because at one level we can only imagine the emotional turmoil in the pet owner's heart, but in a more basic level, it's the story of all humanity. Where in the first reading, the figure of Abraham represents all of humanity in the danger and peril of confusing chaotic circumstances when it seemed that the Creator was asking him to sacrifice his son. Imagine Abraham's fear and confusion. Well, then with the obedience of faith, the chaos was dispelled with the provision from God of an unexpected alternate sacrifice and then a path to peace. Well, during the second week of Lent, we continue to reflect upon God's love that renders us unbound. This week, from chaos, in our lives to obedience in God's providential plan for each of us. He has promised that if we'll but follow the Lord's voice of love, mercy, and trust, we will be well provided for. So where is there chaos presently in your life? Where is there confusion or fear or doubt? Is it a confusing relationship that needs reconciliation? Is it a sickness? Is it the chaos of grief, or maybe it's simply a place where we have no enthusiasm for the life we have been given. Whatever the confusion, whatever the chaos, we've been created for none of these. Instead, if we'll listen to the voice of the Savior right in the midst of the chaos, he will lead us through obedience to his voice into freedom. For when in the midst of troubled relationship, he calls us to the obedience of mercy, in the confusion of grief to the obedience of hope, from the aimlessness of a lukewarm life to the obedience of his mission. Even more consoling, like that fearful dog owner, we have a Lord 
who calls us beloved and shows us that truth by seeking us right in the midst of any swirling pool of chaos we might end up in and lead us with his merciful voice into peace. Lord, once again, here you come to us in, this, in a Eucharistic gathering. Gather us, all of us, out of chaos, so evident this last year, and along the way of your voice of mercy that perpetually calls to us. And when your help, and with your help, we recognize your voice, strengthen our faith to obey your way, out of your way, out, out of a life of chaos to a life of obedience to the voice the Lord that always leads to peace. Well, God bless you during this week, and we pray that your Lenten uh, practices will continue to be uh, fruitful and steadfast, that uh, if, you'll, if we continue on our way, the Lord will lead us into his heart of mercy. God bless you.